Alright, last night I had this problem where I went into my... Alright, it's not even showing it now. Ethernet controller. I don't know why I can't get this to work, and one of the reasons I think it is, see, the driver did not successfully install, um, what I did was something like this, I went to properties, then I went to advanced, and then there was WOL speed. And I changed it from the default to 100 megabytes, and then it turned my Ethernet controller off. And now I haven't been able to get it back on. Um, I went and downloaded the driver for it. See, I'll uninstall it. You know, that's not a problem. Then do I disable this? See, now my internet's off. Ethernet controller, not, no driver found. So, in my program files folders, where would I go to find that? Now what, put it back in there because it's already hooked in. This is my router and my modem. Modem and router. So now I'm going to try to reinstall the driver. Plug this back in. Since it wants to stop my videos, maybe. It wants me to delete it. I don't know. So I'm going to restart. Alright, so this is what I did. As you can see, the Broadcom Netlink TM Gigabyte Ethernet is working now. As you can tell from here. And there, and there. Now, if I were to enable the Wi Fi mini card, it would give me multiple networks. And I'd be running wireless and local area connection at the same time. But see, this is. 72 megabytes per second and this one is 100 megabytes per second so what I do here I don't want to be running multiple networks as I already have other multiple networks running 
there's a laptop over there and a computer upstairs so we'll go ahead and disable and then we go back to just my home network okay and how I fixed it was I went into Dell got my drivers okay so there's the Ethernet car driver I clicked on it. I tried last time to fix it a couple times after the problem that I said earlier and it wouldn't let me repair or install after I thought I had uninstalled everything. So when you click on this and you're trying to fix it, click uninstall, run this driver but then uninstall it from there. Unplug your ethernet. uninstall it plug your ethernet back in the run the program again and it'll give you a few options that wasn't there earlier and it'll get your internet connection right back up fixed problem I was freaking out about it for a second because I, I, I know what I did which is what I'm gonna do here again for you so go to your broadband then we're gonna go to Properters. Then we're gonna come over here. I know it's so big. It's, it's what she said. But uh, so we go to Advanced. And if you wanted your internet to run maybe a little faster, go down here to Speed and Duplex. And see how it's on Auto. We'll go ahead and run that 100 megabyte full. Alright, alright. And what I did last night was I went to this WOL speed thinking, you know, nothing about, not knowing nothing about it. Went from lowest speed to fucking 100 megabytes and totally shut down my uh, card. So I was running wireless, which I have been anyway, because sometimes it seems like I get a better reception on my wireless card than the Ethernet anyways. The Ethernet likes to act funny, gets on my nerves, my wireless is always on, so, but yeah, that's a secret trick in the trade, is go to your speed and duplex and put that to 100 megabyte full. Now it will not offer you that for your uh, wireless card so that's the device manager that's where all everything's installed oh okay over here it wants me to hit okay okay so now we're at 100 megabytes full duplex whatever close that out and that's the end of that story it's so pretty what'd you do rob a bank or something